Hey guys. Hey everyone. Turtle Power Pod here. My name's Steven. Cranes. I'm Bassum. <laughs> hey guys, Turtle Power Pod here. My name's Craney. I'm Bassum. And guess what? Last week was Christmas. Yeah, and we don't have or is this week. We don't have a proper Turtles episode for you again. Nope. That's if you guess that, you're a winner. Congratulations. So what you get instead is another podcast that we were on. Um You weren't on. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I was sort of. Yeah, yeah. I was briefly. Yeah. It's Bassam's other podcast. It's Wiki How We Do It. If yep. you haven't listened to it yet, tell your brain that you're actually listening to Turtle Power Pod, but tell your mouth that you're listening to Wiki How We Do It. And, then when, and then when you're done, retrick your brain so you know to check out both. I don't understand, but... Hope you like it, either guys. Way. Hey, thanks a lot. Michael and Sarah. For what? I guess Sarah. Let us host it on this channel. It's my fucking choice. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, it's half yours, half yeah, hers. Yeah, totally. Uh, but yeah, if you like the episodes... That you're, they're, uh, they're cool people. Let me plug them. It's me. I'm the one you're plugging. Plug them full of holes. You fucking... Listen, let me say my thing. If you haven't heard Wiki How We Do It, first off, you're welcome. Second off, <laughs> if you enjoy this episode that you're about to hear, go listen to the other episodes because we do a lot of weird stuff. And the next episode that's coming out, Cranston's going to be on it. I'm sorry, guys. I'm so punchy. That's all right. That Christmas episode that you probably already heard by now. Last week. Watching that, uh, <laughs> I don't know where my energy's at right now. It's yeah. very peculiar. Yeah. It's a Monday night. But we'll uh, so we'll see you guys at the uh, turn of the year at the yeah in 2017. See you in 2017. Happy New Year's. I wanted to go all hail Trump. <laughs> Don't put that in. I won't. You are now. I fucked up. <laughs> hey, Mikey. Could you get me a? Do we have any juice? Yes. Can I have some juice, please? Oh. With ice in it. The pickle? Yeah. And the pickle. Oh, did you hear that? And the pickle. She wants it her way. Wiki how we do it. 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 You're listening to Wiki How We Do It, the podcast where we improve our lives so that you don't have to. I'm Sarah. And I'm Bassam. <coughs> Good start. <laughs> Excellent start. Almost made it through it. I said two words, I'm Bassam, and I coughed. And it wasn't it was it was not enough. Um no. so you've you've been sick. You know, it's weird. I wasn't actually sick. What happened was Okay, I snore when I sleep, and I used to wear a mouthpiece thing to help. For sleep but apnea? It fell ap yes, um, but it fell apart as, you know, it got used up, which they never told me was a thing, and then, now they want to charge me more to fix it, and blah, blah, blah. Um, so I just haven't been sleeping with it. A few nights ago, last week, I snored so heavily, and I'm not talking about loudness. I snored so violently that I started to inhale my own uvula. Oh, Jesus and Christ. Yes. So I wake up at four in the morning and it feels like my throat is full of phlegm and I'm trying to swallow it, trying to spit it up, blah, blah, blah. And this is going to cross you out. I'm sorry. I can already yeah. see it. And I even reach back there to try and pick the phlegm off the, like, the roof of my mouth. Oh, sweet Jesus. It's my fucking uvula swollen oh. so it's like down on the, i can feel it on my tongue mm. that's how long it is oh jesus christ like i would tilt my head and you would feel it press against the side of your throat oh. and the other way yeah like if you tilt it forward it place itself against the roof of your mm, mouth mm, 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 mm. yeah no, that's bad that's gross it is so oh. i so i i tore my own throat up doing that you know essentially so how does Casey week, sleep through that? Uh, she doesn't sleep very well sometimes. Sometimes, you know, but once I usually once I get into a deep sleep, I stop snoring. Um, 
because I don't really have full blown apnea. Um, but sounds but like you need the mask. Her. Well, and well, I used to have a mask. Um, you need actual, to get it fixed. This, get it fixed. Well, the the mouthpiece, not the mask. I I used to have the mask. No, I have the mouthpiece. Okay, I don't know the difference. My dad has the mask. Oh, the mouthpiece. Um, you put it in over your teeth like a retainer, and it holds your lower jaw forward, so uh. so you don't close. So your tongue doesn't close your throat. Okay. It's really good. Hmm. Um, And it's way easier to sleep with than the mask. Yes, I can imagine. Yeah. Um, Because I've tried the mask. Yeah. But anyway, so just over the course of the week, just naturally, my throat's just been recovering from that ordeal. So coughing fits and stuff like that. It's Hmm. been very sensitive. But I don't think I actually got, I never got an infection. Hmm. I never got a throat infection or anything. It's just. Just biological discomfort. Well, but the point is that we couldn't record last week because you were losing your voice. Yes. Uh, okay, that's what you're getting at. Yeah. Yes. I. I. Just one sentence and it started. And you can hear that on the last Turtle Power Pod. Yeah. Hear me. Barely able to talk. Yeah. And so when you were like, so I might lose my voice in the middle of this, I was like, let's just take a break because you don't need to be a hero. <clears throat> Thank you. And I appreciate it. And I appreciate our audience for waiting. Yes, thank you, everybody. Um, so, shall we jump right into our your betterment challenge report back now that everyone who's grossed out by that uvula story has left? Yeah, sure. Now that they're gone. Yeah, now that they're gone, we can really talk. <laughs> this one's for our special listener. Wiki, how to act silly with your girlfriend? Relationships have many different sides to them. One thing we often forget is that being silly isn't childish. It's actually a great way to de-stress, explore your sense of humor, and deepen your relationship while not taking yourself or life too seriously. This will stretch you both in ways you hadn't considered and open up opportunities to grow closer and more intimate. After all, there's no one we'd rather laugh and have fun with than our girlfriend, a.k.a. best friend. Yeah. Let me preface this. Oh, yeah, I love a good preface. Yeah. It's um, the most important meal of the day. That's what the... Hey, listen. The preamble of the Constitution is the best amble. Mm. Um, sorry. Best, best preamble. Um, <clears throat> so here's my preamble to this episode. I tried a lot of these things. <laughs> I did not... I was not able to do everything for a few reasons. A, it just didn't come up organically. Or B, there were other things that we had planned or whatever. But I'm going to go through them and I'm going to let you know how things came out. And then I'm going to let you know how I think things would have came out uh, for things that I didn't end up doing. Okay. Okay, so we got to play a little bit of imagination now. I love to use my imagination. Right? Don't we all? Mm Mm-hmm. Hey, hey kids, do you want to... Just be imaginative. Let's go ahead and play with our imaginations. It's imagination time. That's our new intro. It sounded like Morty from Rick and Morty. Oh, thank you. That's not what I was going for, but thank you. <coughs> You're welcome. <clears throat> I love Rick and Morty. Me too. Um, Cranston's voice reminds me of Nick, Rick and Morty. Or reminds me of Morty, like his salesman voice. Hey, do you need defibrillators? Come on down to the defibrillator hut. That kind of thing. I don't know. That always is that something that it. Cranston says, or is that something from Rick and Morty? That's that's uh, that's something that Cranston says. I've that's never heard that. One before. of his characters. What he does it all the time on Turtle Power Pod. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh oh. Uh, Your fanhood is showing. Oh shit. Oh, uh, I see. I see. There's so many and quality the- podcasts. So long as yeah. you get the downloads, it doesn't matter if I listen. Yeah. I guess. Well, it's true. Like, Except, well, <coughs> you're right, but I think it's funny because a lot of our conversations that we have every once in a while, like especially through text, end up being like where I'm like, "Hey, just listen to the new episode. I like how blah 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 blah." Like, I get into detail and I respond and react, and you're just like, "Cranston does a voice." <laughs> you're right. I'm a terrible you do, friend. You do characters. I like it. Now that I know that he does that, I'm going to have to check it out because that sounds great. Great. One new download. Got it. I still download it. Oh, I just don't listen to it. 
Oh, uh, I see. Because I've got a lot of podcasts I, to get through, and I, there's just not enough you. hours in the day. I got a lot too. I get. I understand. I feel it. You know what I don't like? I don't. I, there's a couple podcasts on my stream that I feel like I haven't even ended up listening to one podcast episode yet mm. because it seems like every three days they're coming out with two more episodes, and it's, it's too it's often. Like, I'm overwhelmed. I don't even know where I should start at that point. I'm not going to start at the beginning. I'll never catch up. Absolutely. Yeah. That's why anyway, we, so we were really doing our listeners a favor by giving them a <clears throat> moment of respite. Yeah, and it's the it's the holiday season. Go be with your families. Don't listen to WikiHow. No, I mean, you've already downloaded play, the episode. Play your WikiHow for your family. Ah, there you go. It's a gift that keeps Downlo- on giving. But download it once for each each, uh, each family, family member, member that's listening. Yep. Yeah, we don't want one of those group situations. Teach like, teach grandma what, what a teach nana what a podcast is. I spent 30 minutes trying to f- download iTunes or iPhones have like the worst natural podcasting. Oh, uh, I, I don't use it. It's so terrible. It's awful. And uh, my uh, my aunt was visiting from Lebanon and she doesn't even like they don't even have the podcast app in the Lebanese app store. Hmm. Like you have to get a third party app. Yeah. For podcasts. And then they have to sign up, and she has to type her password really slowly, and it took like forever. Jesus, because she really wanted to hear it. Oh, anyway, well, I love that's you. Nice. Oh, she's <laughs> listening. You, she's, she's listening to this. Maybe I don't know. I I got them. I got both for her. Oh, good. That's good. Yeah, I told her listen to WikiHow if you don't want to hear me say bad words. <laughs> we say bad words. Oh yeah, but not nearly. Shit. Fuck. So mature. Anal sex. Anyway, <clears throat> so <coughs> not while I'm taking a drink, please. <clears throat> we make okay, me spit it everywhere. I won't have anal sex with someone while they're taking while they're taking a drink. <laughs> You're disgusting. All right, Just tell me what you did. Alone. All right. Your so, uh, number your one. proudness rating is going down every second that we don't talk about this. That's fair. Ask funny questions. All right. So I asked her these questions, okay, um, because I liked them. Um, I picked superpower last because I feel so. Casey is not like a super nerd like me. So if I started with a superpower question, I don't feel like she should. She would have been um, as receptive to the whole weird question things, right? Um, so I asked her. I started with. She could only wear one color for the rest of her life. What would it be? And I answered, and we went back and forth. If you could be any animal for a day, what would you choose? So, how did um, you introduce this concept? You just like we're going to talk about it was, funny questions now. It was really rough, and it was basically a month ago, and so I can't remember all of the fucking things that I asked or answers. But we went. I took her. We went to. Um, I want to say McCormick and sh- no. It's a bar, McCormick's. You can it's say a bar that's, literally anything, and I would not know the difference. That's true. We went to Halle Berry's bar, <laughs> and we went to, and they, it's great because it has like a bunch of locations in Portland, mm-hmm. and they're usually weird old buildings that have been redone to look like to be hotels or uh, or or things. Like one of them is a literally an elementary school that's just been the. I, and everyone has been ha- is haunted, you know, and that kind of thing. Sure. Um, Sounds legit. Yeah. So this one we went to is really uh, cool and it's pretty close. And we just sat in a booth and we had some brunch and we had some drinks. And we just, uh, I said, hey, I want to ask you some uh, ridiculous questions. And, and she was up for it. So that's, and we just had a nice little brunch over it. What about this um, this thing, this question? I don't know what this is. You can beam one person to live like an Inuit in the North Pole, never to be seen by society again. Who is it? Yeah. What kind of a so question craft- is that? <clears throat> well, we crafted it as each one of these ended up with a caveat. Basically, they don't die. Um, they cannot enter. Well, I mean, they don't die from from this. Like, they live a long, happy life. Okay. Um, but But they no longer affect the world in any way. Donald Trump then, obviously. Right? But anyone, anyone, any, anyone ever, 
Um, but we didn't count. We didn't allow Hitler because uh, that's too too easy, um, and not Donald Trump. And why not Donald I Trump? Think, you know, Donald Trump's not a bad answer because maybe because it would it would have just ended the conversation too early. Okay. Um. Plus, really, Donald Trump should suffer a little more than dying long and happy in an Inuit village. Yeah, but he's like yeah. he's like an ego, he's like an ego maniac. The lack of society would kill him. Yeah, yeah. Um, the point is not the answer, really. Thank you. The point isn't really to have an answer. The point is to have a conversation, right? So that was really fun. We had a nice brunch. <coughs> we had a good time. Step number two, go to the park. Oh, by the way, this is this method number one is doing things with her. Yep. I should What did I you do clarify. the did you do the what's the hardest food to give up? What is the hardest yeah. food to give up? Uh is goldfish. heroin a food? Uh heroin is not technically a food because <laughs> you're not you don't typically ingest it. That's no, definitely not the not. best way to take it. Um I mean, LSD is technically, I guess. Sure. Get the... um. I'd like to see the nutritional panel on that. The Timothy Leary snack mix. Um, <laughs> that's a throwback to earlier today. Yeah, it is. Cheez-Its would be so hard to give up. Uh, yeah, that, I, that's basically hers. Her, hers is Cheez-Its or Goldfish. Mm, both excellent <clears throat> options. Yeah. Have you ever made a Cheez-It Goldfish sandwich? No. Two cheese it's on a goldfish. Ah, oh, right. Now, you've told me about it, but I, no, I haven't done it. I've told you about it. Like, it's a mysterious thing. Um, you know what I would like to do? Y- you, do you guys have cheese whiz? Uh, I don't think we do, but I know what it is. Yeah. Um, easy cheese or whatever it's called. Um, most people think it's disgusting. I get that. It's gross. I love it. I'll take... I'll take goldfish mm. and I'll make just a little dab on a goldfish and I'll pop it in. That so it adds just a little flavor. bit of extra cheese. Yeah, it's That's, pretty good. Um, that sounds disgusting, but I feel like I would probably enjoy it. Yes, I think you would too. Mm. <laughs> Here's a question for you, Sarah. If mm-hmm. you could be an anim- any animal for one day, what would you choose? Probably some kind of bird, right? Yeah. Right? That's what I said. Um, I said either... Uh, I said I would probably want to be a peregrine falcon for a day. Sure. Even though even though it's not my favorite bird, you get to be the fastest animal in the world. And um, you know, 200 miles an hour nose dive, be badass. And you get to see or I would want to see if I could just like smash my talons into like a deer and see if I could snap its neck. Would you if you have, if you're going to be a, the animal for the day, are you? Do you have your own brain, or do you have the animal brain, and you? No, you have no. It would be like, your, control. It would be. No, it would be your consciousness. So you can do whatever you wanted to do, mm. and we we did a positive spin on these. No, no negative repercussions. Okay. Yeah. Um, then that's fine. No, like you can't, you can't die. You won't be hunted. That kind of thing. Okay. Yeah, I still think a bird flying. Yeah, yeah, flying is awesome, and I—that's why I went with that. But I also went with the fact that two hundred miles an hour sounds awesome, mm. and I want to see if I can kill something, like a big thing. The other option is like, I could be a caterpillar on the day it's going to turn into a butterfly, because that would probably be awesome. Because like, what is a caterpillar even thinking when it wraps itself up in a? In a cocoon, like, oh, I guess I'm doing this now. Yeah, I have no idea. Yeah, I don't know. What drives them to do that? Do you know that inside a cocoon, the these caterpillars, they, they pretty much just, like, liquefy? Oh, yeah. And then they turn they into- They dissolve into nothing. Yeah. Like- It's ridiculous. I have no idea. And, I mean, I don't think anyone really knows for sure. Yeah. How- they come back and form into a brain. It's fucking like, crazy. It, is it the same? Is it the same caterpillar? Yes, it is. It, because what they did was they did this experiment where they, um, I think they, 
I don't know, they played a sound for the caterpillars and then gave them like an electric shock or something. And then yeah. after they um after they became butterflies, they played the same sound and they had a stress reaction. What? Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. I love science because it does shit like this that I think about in the shower like <laughs> For for no reason, you know the kind of thoughts that distract you from getting ready for work. Yeah, they get to they get to find out the answers. Yeah, exactly. We could kind have been awesome. scientists. Damn it! Damn. We chose the wrong path. We chose the financial industry. <laughs> anyway, step number two: go to the park, swing on the swing, slide on the slide, climb the jungle gym, um, play King of the Hill. It, it has been wet and cold here. Basically, since you got me that challenge. Uh, in fact, do yeah. you know how wet and cold it was on the day that I went to the park for the Dizzy Challenge? Do you know how wet and freezing it was that day? Really wet and cold. Okay, <clears throat> okay I'm just going to go to step three. Proudness uh, rating <laughs> down to zero. God damn it. All right. Narrate your scene. We did this for a couple minutes. It was. It's very weird because I have to think about these things. And put them in my head and then do them and try and make them seem natural for my for my own sake, really, because otherwise it just sounds weird. Like, all right, Casey, now we're going to narrate the scene. Like, you can understand that's a little strange. Hmm. Um, so we did this. It went over well. I'm We play Dungeons and Dragons, so I, I narrate scenes more often than you might think. Mm-hmm. Um, so it went about as well as that goes what sort of thing are we talking about here what did you do i feel like you could have uh, really busted out the dictaphone at this point and secretly recorded i it. kept that's that's you're right and i had it on me a lot but every time these situations popped up it ended up i just didn't have it on me tisk 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 i know i see you marking sarah sits quietly in her kitchen judging eyes upon me Making notes on her board. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. No. M- mumbling Dictaphone. nonsenses to herself. Nonsenses? Yeah. Nonsenses? Sure. All right. <clears throat> I do accents all the time, so I did that. What accents do you do? Uh, I do an uh, English accent sometimes. I do an Arab accent a oh, I lot. Need to hear, I need to hear this English accent. My English accent, then. <laughs> it's so oh, I- <laughs> Hello, governor. <laughs> Hello, Sarah. Oh, my God. That's so Been bad. Been having a spot on. A what? A spot on. A spot on I don't on know what, what that is, but it sounds British. I don't know. I just put words together. It sounds like nonsense and it's British to me. Oh, you think that's British? Yeah. Spot on is a saying, but it, it means like right on. Like that's spot Having on. a spot? A tea then? Sure. Having a spot of orange juice then? Yep. That's not a knife. Now nah, that's a knife. <laughs> Wait, is this British or is this Australian? <laughs> I don't know what it is anymore. <laughs> it's an abomination is what it is. is it definitely. Uh... Uh, I'm embarrassed else? for both of us. Yeah, feed her while she's br- blindfolded. We've Wait, been hang making. On. Home- Didn't you skip one? You Did didn't I? do the hang out in your pajamas. Oh fuck! Well, we hang out in our pajamas all the time at home. In public, it's so cold. Sarah, <laughs> I fucked this up. I don't know what to tell you. It's not a. It's not a spontaneous. Uh, article i don't know did you play truth or dare in spirit (laughs) i we had honest conversations and i did stupid things i dared us to make homemade pizza yesterday and (laughs) we did that that's a terrible dare is it though it is because you don't dare people to do things you know that they want to do that's like saying like hey basim i dare you to win the lottery like Oh no! How, All right, that's the last okay, thing I if want. You, if you had to dare me, what would you dare me to do? I don't know. Run around naked or some shit. But I do that all the time. Literally every morning. 
Not in the house, like in public. In public, you want? That's just rude. Yeah, or like moon a car or something. Moon a car. Yeah. Okay. All right. Or this like gets eat me to things that I have or something. This gets me to issues I have with this article. It's it's like the twelve year old equivalent of what they think cutesy love should be, and I don't like it. <laughs> So are you saying you didn't, am, you didn't am feed one, her while she was blindfolded? or No, because we had hot pizza. <laughs> I would have murdered her face. <laughs> <coughs> no one said it had to be like pizza. Well, it's either that or goldfish. And she already, that's not a surprise. It says chocolate is a must. Well, usually a must. The article says chocolate is a must. It says usually a must. No, it says, oh, no, it does say usually a must. All right. Well, ah! well no, you're right, though. I, you know, I, I am going to, I'm going to do this thing, Sarah, where I flail mm-hmm. around mm-hmm. trying to, uh, trying to distract you away from the fact that I probably don't deserve a very good proudness rating. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Don't worry, I'm. You're not misleading me in any way. Great. The next step. Fantastic. So method two. So you. So you think so far that this is not real love. This the things that it's saying. No. No. I am an old. I am an old soul, and this is not how I express my love. How do you express your love? I express my love by being cozy, by listening, by. Um, Sorry, what what does that mean being by being cozy? Well, okay. I think that there's so much shit that happens to people during the day that you get very stressed out, mm-hmm. and you want and you want to come home and you want to you want to have something familiar and something that makes you happy, and um, and you know you tweak that a little bit. It's not the same thing every night, but you know. So, like I said, like last night we made pizza. It's still we were sitting at home. We were gotten our. We got home, got out of our clothes, got into PJs and comfy clothes, and then the plan was make some pizzas together and relax and have the cat with us and watch some TV. And that's cozy, right? Mm-hmm. And it's that kind of ability to de-stress. I feel like if you can, if you can be with someone and really let yourself relax fully. That's a kind of love that I like. Do you mean like farting openly or? Yeah, I'm okay with that. Because that's about as relaxed I mean, as you can get. Well, I mean, not farting just to fart. I mean, if it comes out, don't, yeah, just don't be upset about it. But yeah. <laughs> like, I don't, <laughs> I don't like to fart. Who doesn't like to fart? It, well, I mean, like, if I got to relieve pressure, I will fart. But it's not like I'm going around, I'm not sticking my butt in her face and letting one out yeah no that's that's not what i mean i just mean like farting if we have to yeah that's what yeah exactly do you know that um for the first couple of months that we were going out michael thought i didn't fart because i was so self-conscious about farting that before yeah it's stressful it is when you start Um, a new relationship you can't just fart does casey fart in front of you or do you just fart in front of casey uh she doesn't fart on purpose I mean, she never farts. She never farts. Yeah, she farts sometimes, but it's really not. It's not like on purpose. Is it like she... cute farts or proper farts? No, it's a fucking fart. <laughs> <laughs> cute fart. I don't know. Maybe she does cute farts. Who knows? What she does is in the when she gets home, she'll take off her makeup. She'll take off her con- take out her contacts, put on her glasses. Then she'll go into the bathroom and spread open her ass cheeks and <laughs> shove rose petals in there. So in the in the <laughs> instance that she might have to fart it'll be like a confetti of delicious smelling roses come out of her asshole your that's flower budget must be through the roof she doesn't fart that often oh okay so that's what i'm saying well still rose petals not cheap if she could oh, switch sure. that up to a potpourri you would cut your flower budget in half i guarantee and cut her butthole <laughs> that's true Sharp it's really just deciding not go what's well more important to you. 
Yeah, a tight sphincter, I think. Gross. All right, so give her a cute nickname. Did you give her a cute yes. nickname? So I've recently taken to calling her Sugar Plum. Sugar Plum. Is that a seasonal yeah. nickname? Are you going to change that when Christmas is over? I don't know. I actually really like it. Um, I also plum. call her Casey Face. Okay, that's kind of cute. Yeah. Um, those those are them. Sugar we, Plum. We do... We do baby a lot, but yeah, I don't know. I heard sugar plum, and maybe because it's why the did season. you call? Is it because you have visions of her dancing in your head? Um, well, I do, but those are nightmares. What I really have is, um, I I don't know. I was trying to be sweet, and I didn't want to be like too subjective, like physical. Mm-hmm. Um, because you know, girls know when a guy starts acting sweet, all of a sudden. Uh, you know, maybe he's following steps to a WikiHow article, but maybe he just wants to get some of that sweet puss. <laughs> <laughs> so I just wanted to make her to know so that it was disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad. Oh, I'm so glad I'm already married to Michael. <sighs> Why? <sighs> because if there was any sort of sexual tension between us, it'd be like really terrible. I think. Um. <laughs> What does that mean? <laughs> They'd be really terrible. Because you're like, that sweet puss. And I don't think I could ever. Mm, no. Gross. Well, first off, good. Yeah. I mean, no, I mean, no offense to any parties involved, but good, I guess. And second off, if that was the case, you'd probably be down for it. Mm-mm. If I thought it was if I thought it was appropriate to say in front of you. It's the same thing like me and Casey talk about our farts and rose petals in her butt. Mm. But really, it's because, you know, she thinks it's funny too. Yeah, that's true. But um, anyway. You're gross. Yeah, I know that. I get that. I'm okay with that. Like, I, I'm engaged. I don't need Michael's to gross, but in anyone. a different way. Yeah, because his dick is so big, it's just like gross. <laughs> sure, let's go with that. Like, why does he swing it over his shoulder like that? Uh, uh, a, he's just showing off. B, it's impractical. You have to cut really your own is. suits. Um, he can't go on so anyways, roller coasters. Sugar plum. Sugar plum. I tickled her a little bit, but she doesn't respond to tickles. So <laughs> just, it just turned into me scratching her back for 10 minutes. I live for back scratches. Yeah. yeah, I got her a bra- back scratcher, um, like a little, it's like a extendy claw. Mm-hmm. And I've seen it. And it's uh, got the little claws, yeah. Um, but one time, I've sent you pictures before of like the cat in my lap and her like over it. Mm. Casey over the cat. Do you know what I'm talking about? No, I don't think you have sent me photos of that. The cat will sleep in my lap and then Casey will come and fall asleep on top of the cat Mm. Uh, kind of curled up and so I'll just like do this and scratch her back for like 10 minutes mm. she loves it I love back scratches too but Michael yeah uh, he'll, he'll like scratch my back for like half an hour because I never get enough back scratches yeah yeah I hear you mm. uh, we didn't wrestle because I'm a very competitive wrestler <laughs> um, and so is she I feel like one of us would have lost a tooth Here's how it would have gone. I, I told you I would tell you how it would have gone. It would have gone like this. I would have wrestled her to, to like push her down, and then she'd already be down, so she would uh, feign that it wasn't fair. And then as I started to lev- let up, she would just elbow me in the, in the fucking nose. <laughs> she would just cross her arm like, Damn. you know what I mean? Yep. Uh, yeah, uh, she doesn't pull punches, and... She, it would, it would have hit me right across my chin. I probably would have smashed my forehead into the, um, into the, uh, the, the little table, coffee table thing that we got. The cat would have freaked out. She would have been gone. And then I would have to take Casey by the back of her head and repeatedly smash her face (laughs) into the kitty litter box. (laughs) I thought you were going to say it's in the coffee table. So that was a very nice, uh, (laughs) <laughs> Switcheroo. Uh, and then it would have been a draw, really. So. Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah. What if you'd started wrestling, though, and it, it would have turned into sexy times? I feel like you missed an opportunity. Yeah. See, that's what I'm saying, is that it just turns into a physical ordeal. 
And if women she love her when you describe sex as an ordeal. <laughs> I mean, like it wouldn't. It would just be competitive. But you could have like tried to stop it going that way. Is what I'm saying. <laughs> Listen, Casey, <laughs> she's an animal. <laughs> If she if she wants the D, she'll take it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> but the fact of the matter is, sometimes she just wants to feel f- flesh rend between <laughs> her teeth. Okay. And when that happens, I don't want my dick anywhere near her. <laughs> she would tear me apart. Oh my god! All right, so terrific. Anyway, yeah, I'm really learning a lot about Casey today. <laughs> me too. So, okay. uh, Casey likes to attack me with pillows, um, but typically when we get to bed, it's already midnight, and I don't know. It never. I skipped it. I skipped the attack with pillows step. <sighs> bassem, bassem, bassem. I know. I- Let me go to the next one that I did do. Yeah. Was it step five of method two? It was. Hold on. Act as if all she says is too complex for your small brain. Well, most of what she does is too complex for my small brain. Mm. She has these notions. So, <laughs> Casey's a very special lady. She has this thing about the kitchen um, where she wants the dishes done Mm. um, and I just don't get it. So what I'll do is I will try to do the dishes Mm -hmm. and then it's too complex for my small brain so she does them instead. Mm -hmm. And then now we have a dishwasher which is great what I'll do is I will take the dishes and take them out of the dishwasher. Mm-hmm. I'll put them away, and then I'll make a I'll make a delicious des- uh, <laughs> lunch or dinner, mm-hmm. and I'll wrap that up and I'll just cook it in the mm-hmm. dishwasher. Delicious. And <clears throat> she has this habit of whenever I do things in a WikiHow article, to she just drinks heavily <laughs> to try and numb herself to my idiocy. <laughs> so this, so I think it's been working out real great. Mm. Yeah. Um, I didn't wear her clothes because she thinks it's funny, but not if like I came home, if she came home and I was sitting there wearing them. (laughs) You know what I mean? Like, how would you feel if Michael came, if you came home and Michael was sitting there on the couch naked, but in like your bra and panties? I don't know. I do not know what my reaction would be. First surprise because I've never like seen a man worse with a bra clasp than Michael. So how did he get into it? <laughs> Someone else helped him. Yeah. Okay. Well, that would be very concerning. Um. <laughs> yeah, but I don't know. I I honestly don't know if that was something is, he felt like he needed to do as a lifestyle choice. I think I'd be okay with it. But I'd probably why get is Michael him his so own. bad with a bra clasp? I I don't know. Does he, can he do the Joey? No, no, he cannot. He can barely do it with two hands. Ah. Uh. Can you? Okay. Yeah. Left-handed? Uh, I might, I'd might. probably be able to do it left-handed. Hmm. Well, yeah, that makes sense, because then the right hand is up between her legs. Yeah, yeah, I well. can do it left-handed. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just going to see how many times I can make you gag on your own spit this episode. Um, I, yeah, I just take my bra off. Like, we're not friggin' teenagers. Why would I make him muck around with my bra? It, um, there's no point in playing hard to get. Yes, I believe you're right. Damn straight. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. If you want, if you want the D, you just, you just take it. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. I take my reward. Yeah. I'm basically, uh, getting back to the topic, I'm basically Casey's medieval attendant anyway. Do you call her m'lady? Um, I, well, I call her, I've been taken to call her her sugar plum. Mm -hmm. And, uh, I think that's pretty close. 
Really? You think in the <laughs> in uh, an Arthurian court, Lancelot could have called Guinevere sugar plum instead of milady, and that would have been okay? Well, be yeah, serious, fucking... Bassam. Yeah, he's a knight of the round table. He can call her whatever he wants. Do you go around at the Renaissance? He can't just call the queen whatever he wants. He's just a knight, and what, she's what a queen. What is he going to do? Get kicked off the round table? Have you even read Arthurian legend? Do you know what happens between Guinevere and Lancelot? <laughs> Jesus. Do you just go around? <laughs> You're really upset. Do you just go around at the Renaissance Fair calling everyone sugar plum? Is that what you do, Basim? No, because Casey would rend the flesh of my body with her teeth. Yeah. Rend it in twain. Rend it in twain. All right, so as if you, it were twine. So you're already her medieval attendant. Yeah, well, I, I, uh, uh, Casey just likes to move, even when it's time to relax. She literally needs to ice her feet because, um, she has, like, she has to do leg, like, foot stretches because she has a nerve thing in her foot. Hmm. Um, so she like pushes it against a tennis ball or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, these kind of things. But she'll still, even with her like feet killing her, she'll have to get up like every ten minutes Jeez. to do something. Yeah, like she's very. So I couldn't do be her med- medieval attendant if I wanted to be. The most I do is I try and do. The, I try and remember to do the laundry, and I try and remember to put away the dishes out of the dishwasher. Other than that, she needs something to do when she gets up every ten minutes. <laughs> Yeah, you're a real hero, leaving all that stuff for her to do. Thank you. (laughs) Oh, my God. All right. All right. Step eight, pull out of a kiss. Look deeply in her eyes, move in for a kiss, then say, nah, and walk away. More likely than not, you'll have to run away because she will kill you. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. So, I didn't do this. (laughs) And... But I'll tell you why. I'm glad I gave you the extra week to complete this challenge. And I appreciate that. <laughs> <coughs> but I'll tell you why. Mm-hmm. When I look deeply in her eyes. <laughs> yeah, this is going to be good. I am so overtaken. <laughs> I'm getting teary eyed. I'm so overtaken by emotion are you really crying right now i can't not kiss her are you being serious right now the skype Skype camera is not good enough for me to be able to tell whether you are being serious or not good but oh you're crying you love her yeah who gets the opportunity to kiss the woman that they love and then doesn't do it Aww. So no, I didn't do step eight of method two. <laughs> That's so lame. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> That's very cute, but at the same time, you've got like your whole life to kiss her, and you couldn't even do it one time. One I don't time, know. Basm. What if it ends tomorrow? It's not going to end it. tomorrow. You're going to be fine. You could have kissed her, like, immediately after. It could have been better than the original kiss that you would have had but pulled out of. Listen. Because the thrill of the chase. I never pull out. (laughs) Because in tips, in tips on the article, it says never do something halfway. Yeah. Go all out. Really? Did you read those tips after you'd completed the challenge? (laughs) Because... I must have. Yeah. I'm reading it right now. Uh, remember, this is supposed to be fun. That's the other thing. If she's not into one thing, try another or turn it down a notch. Um, there's varying degrees of how silly you can act. Oh, absolutely. For each lady, every person. Yeah, it depends on the mood, depends on the day, everything Yeah, like that. sometimes Michael will do one thing and I'll think it's hilarious and then the next day he could do it. But if I'm in the wrong mood, I'm just like, can you not? Yeah. Um, and Casey is, uh, it's just been, it's just been those times where it doesn't take a lot, um, for the silliness to, to be there. Like, you know, you know, she doesn't like it when I'm over the top anyway. 
honestly. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, you can barely stand it for an hour. I know. It's um, unbearable. <laughs> um, warnings, tickling your girlfriend might cause a tickle fight. <laughs> warning, some girls hate being tickled. Uh, warning, some of these steps could be found very annoying. This is the line I walk every day. <laughs> I am constantly on the edge of losing what I love forever. No, you're not. Believe me. If if she didn't live here, she wouldn't live here. <laughs> right. <laughs> That's depressing. Now I'm crying from sadness. Don't cry. Don't cry, uh, Bassam. Okay. Well, I guess there's nothing anyway, left for me to do but rate you. I guess. Are you ready to be rated? Oh, well, you give me your ratings for the article. Oh, all right. Quality of the wiki how? Like a two and a half. The only thing I what liked- What was wrong with this wiki was, how? It was too, like I said, I, I, this is just not how, I'm a silly person. And I get that. Got that right. Thank you. But it's just not, it's it's a different kind of silliness. It's like a weird, innocent silliness that isn't doesn't really do anything for me. Um, yeah, you prefer like poo jokes. Well, you know, if we're going to do something, then yeah, why not poo jokes? <laughs> but <laughs> I don't know where I was going with that. Yeah, I don't know either. But, Here's the thing. I like these weird questions. Number one, step one is great. Um, They were really good questions. They made me feel real happy. Um, I loved loved them. But the rest of them, I don't know. Just didn't do it for me. So two and a half. How good was it for me? Two stars. And I admit some of that is from my own doing, but still, two stars. All right. Well. (sighs) Here it comes. I'm expecting at least a three and a half. Three and a half? I'm I'm crossing my fingers. I am going to give you a three, and like half of that point is because it was pretty sweet when you started crying about how much you love your fiance but dude dude (laughs) dude what if you challenged me to do this article i would have done every single one of these things (sighs) except the pajamas thing because i don't own pajamas nice (laughs) well that's just that's just facts yeah i got married so that i wouldn't have to wear pajamas right that's what i'm talking about it's it's you're not you're not in junior high. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> I don't know what that is. We don't have junior high over here. I'm not in whatever secondary school. I don't know. <laughs> what, that's after primary school, right? Yeah, secondary. yeah. You got tertiary it. school. Tertiary um, is university. Oh, okay. So no, secondary would be high school then. Yeah, all but all of it. We don't have junior high. Oh well, where does how many years is high school? Five. How many years is primary? Oh, six then. Sorry, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, six years. Yeah, seven and eight, seven and eight are junior high. Yeah, I know. Here. I was I was playing dumb. <clears throat> okay. I know exactly what junior high is. Ha 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 okay. ha ha ha. Well, the point in. is, you got me, mate. <laughs> yeah, the point. <laughs> the point. See, I do accents. The point is, we're not in junior high. It's not the kind of stuff that I think is silly. In junior high, I would. You specifically requested something that you could do with with Casey. And I love it. And like I said, you this challenge got me and Casey out to do to have a wonderful brunch at a nice place. We walked through the park like in the back of the restaurant. Uh, it was haunted, but it fine. <laughs> and uh, and we enjoyed ourselves. It was great, and I am happy for it. But the stuff in it it I, like I've had my first kiss. Like, why do I need to do this shit? To to to. It's not for two grown adults who love each other. That's all I'm saying. All right. 
Anyway, <laughs> I'm very I'm, happy for I'm my sorry, three and a half. I, I'm sorry, I disappointed. No, I gave you a three. No, I did not did. give you a three and a half. It was a three. Okay. But it would have been right. a two and a half. All right. All right. I'm happy with the three and a half. <laughs> it's a three. <laughs> okay. Stop trying to wangle that extra half. <laughs> I'll wangle a half. It's if- not going to happen. I l- I'm going to wangle a half. You're going to wangle I'm going to wangle a half. No. All right. I already wangled a half. Yeah, you did. Apparently. Yeah, you wangled your way into a half. You crocodile tears your way into an extra half a point. (laughs) With your lame Uh, ass love for your fiance. Like a big. Yeah. I'm going to get off here. I'm like, Michael, did you hear this fucking wuss? uh, Yeah. (laughs) Crying about how much he loves his fiance. What a fucking prick. What a pussy. Uh, what a wangle. A uh, wangle. Any- <laughs> anyway. I think it's time. Well, I'm happy for the three. I'm happy for the three, and I am and I'm, and I'm, uh, proud of myself, even if you're not proud of me as much. I'm proud of the um, efforts that you took. I just feel like you could have taken more efforts. And I'll admit that. Good. Um, I am honestly much more excited for this next one, though. Yes, we've got a, we've got a wiki how we do it first. Oh, yeah, first off- so- Oh, oh, no, actually, sorry. Say this. I'll say it after. Go on. So, we have been trying to decide how we're going to get how we're going to get guests on the show to record with us, and we thought a great idea would be to have a guest challenge us to a challenge that we both do, mm-hmm. me and Sarah, and then come on the next episode and and join us for a review. Mm-hmm. And, and see who so- wins. It's basically a head-to-head competition. Exactly. And this is a great first competition. Mm. Sarah, would you like to um, introduce our guest or say whatever the fuck you were about to say? No, this is. Uh, I was going to say something completely different. So, yeah. So, All right. do you want me so to our introduce first... our guest or do you want yeah, to? Yeah, sure. Go ahead. All right. Well, our first guest was the person who was most convenient for us to get involved, your friend yep. and mine, Cranny. From Turtle Pal Pod, your That's podcast. That's right. That's right. Um, so we have a very special message from him. I'm going to play right now. I'm very excited to hear what and, this is. Uh, yeah, me too. I haven't heard it. Uh, and I will, uh, I guess we'll let Cranston take it from here. Hello, Sarah and Bassam. <laughs> it is I, Cranny, from Turtle Power Pod. And it's time for... Your Betterment Challenge. <laughs> Wiki how to make a blanket fort. <sighs> I hope to hear good things. I want to hear good things. I want to make you so... I want you to make me so proud. I want you to make me so proud. <coughs> I want you... I want to be so proud of you. <laughs> You're going to make me so proud. <laughs> make me proud. <laughs> Make me proud, you two. You say, two make me proud now. Say proud one more time, Cruddy. That was it. Ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> Man, that was great. <coughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, my well, God. in the email he sent me, he's like, I said it oh, I said it a few times at the end, so you can pick your favorite. Oh, no, you've got to leave them all in. all in. You have to leave it all, because that was the funniest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very excited uh, by that challenge. Uh, me too. <laughs> let's read the. Let's read the. I forgot we didn't even read the thing. Oh yeah, we totally should do that. We should have yeah. made Cranny do it because. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Well, whatever. Wiki, how to make a blanket fort? Can a you send me the link? F- yeah, absolutely. Oh no, oh, that's your face. What is my face? There we go. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. A blanket fort is fun to play in and easy to build. You can use a bunk bed, dining dining table, table. Fuck. You can use a bunk bed, dining table, chairs, a flipped over couch, or other household items. Put blankets over all of the open areas that let light in, or just simply put in a lamp and bring a flashlight or other safe light source in with you. Mm-hmm. Tell scary stories with friends late at night. Uh, you can even have a sleepover in it. Block extra holes by stuffing pill. Oh my God. Okay. These are actual instructions now. 
I'm going to fast forward to the end. Be safe and have fun in your fort. <laughs> Sounds good. Um, I don't like when they just let all the instructions in on the beginning. So the way it'll work when we have guests over, just because this is new, we're gonna we're gonna have our guests send us like like that, like a Carmen San Diego style video message, mm-hmm. uh, and then they'll be on the next week. So to judge, we're gonna us. have a longer yeah to judge us. So Sarah, we're gonna have a bit of a longer break on this one. Yeah, because Christmas and everything. Because Christmas and everything. So I don't know exactly. Uh, follow us on Twitter at at Wiki How We Do It. Mm-hmm. But um, I'm not sure if it's going to be before the end of the month or or in January. Um, but, I guess uh, maybe after Christmas sometime. Yeah, maybe a New Year's. Maybe. Could do. Yeah. My New Year's resolution um, is to spend more time talking to you over Skype. Oh. Really? No. Is that a thing? That's oh. not my New Year's resolution. <laughs> I was kind of, ex- I was kind of really, I was gonna get teary eyed again. <laughs> really? I think you no. filled your crying quota for today. For the year. <laughs> Once a I year, think it's that's December. it. December. I had, to, yeah, I had to get it out. All right. Well, don't cry after New Year's then, because you got to save that shit for your wedding. Just hold it all in. Oh shit! You're right. Fuck. Yeah. Ah, uh, fuck. Hold on. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I well He's getting in the no crying zone. All right, all right. Emotions down. Yeah. Emotions gone. We got this. You can feel emotions, just no crying emotions. No no extreme happiness or sadness. Or anger. When I, I used to have this boyfriend and his little brother used to talk shit about me to my face and my boyfriend wouldn't say anything. I'm like, can you tell him to shut the fuck up or something? Yeah. This is this one time I made a chocolate peanut butter pie. And these pies, like, people don't really make pies over here. And this yeah. fucking little oh, asshole kid, he ate, like, half of this pie by himself. And the whole that- time he's going, what kind of fucking idiot makes a pie out of chocolate and peanut butter? That's fucking stupid. You're an idiot. I'm like, you're eating the whole thing. Oh, I would have smacked him on the side oh, of his fucking head. I wanted to. What a little prick. Let's blame the hormones. Let's blame the hormones. <laughs> um, anyway, let's do some plugs. Yeah, you go first. I feel like we're going. No, we're good. we're over now. Um, all right. So Sarah, I'm on a uh, podcast with my friend Stephen. It's called Turtle Power Pod. I watch uh, Ninja Turtles with him, and we talk and bullshit for an hour and a half. That is very it's interesting. Pretty great fun. And uh, I'm on Twitter at Turtle Power Pod. That's like my main Twitter account. Um, I am on. Another podcast called It's a Duck Blur, where my husband and I watch every single episode of DuckTales, which is very fun. And you were on an episode that we recorded today that'll be out in a yeah. couple of weeks. Super excited. I hope it comes out good. I It just, man, I just get so freaked out about the audio quality. I hope it's all right. That's all right. Michael will deal with it. Um, and I'm also on... Uh, Spurging Out, which is a podcast where my brother and I answer advice questions, uh, and he has uh, Asperger's, which is fun, and it's fun to answer the questions. It's not fun that he has Asperger's. Yeah, yeah, it's not fun that he has Asperger's. No. Yeah. Um, and what else do I do? I mean, it's all right that he has Asperger's. Yeah, it's fine. Like, I have no strong feelings about it one way or the other. Um, and Pop Quiz Hotshot, the movie quiz show that I also am on with my husband. They're all fun. And if you'd like to follow my personal Twitter, which is full of funny jokes, um, that's at why in the heck with underscores between the words. Yeah, it is. Mm, it's true. I believe you. Thank you. Fantastic. Fantastic. And I think we did fantastic. I think we did fantastically. And I'm really looking forward to making a blanket for it. Truly. Okay. So here's what we're doing. I'm, I'm going to record a video. Mm-hmm. Um, and I'm going to challenge you to do the same. Yeah, I'll figure it out. I'll do it. Okay. Because I don't know if you know, because you don't, <laughs> but I think I might rock this. Oh, I think I might rock this, actually. <laughs> well, I'm excited to see are your we, house. Are we smack talking each other right now? Well, we would, but I'd win that too. Oh, bullshit. So really, why bother, you know? But here's the thing. Because it's going to be a lot of fun, I think. Mm-hmm. Um, let's not let's let's include our significant others. 
because it should be a shit ton of fun. Sure. I'll, I'll get Michael okay. in on it. I mean, if he wants to, obviously. But but uh, I guess what I'm saying is... Uh, what am I saying? I don't know. What do, are you, do you saying? Do you know what I'm saying? I have Sarah, no Sarah, if you know what I'm saying, you legally have to tell me. No, I, I, uh, I don't know. I don't know what you're saying. Really. Truly. I guess don't call... Like, I'm not going to call you out if you... If Michael helps you, right? Okay. And, and yeah, yeah, I guess is what I'm so saying. So we're we're la- we're laying some ground rules. The primary one being yeah, that we are able to enlist the help of our significant others, but no one else. Correct. All right. Now answer me this: okay. Is it a um? Is it acceptable to borrow blankets from other sources? Because I'm thinking about all the blankets we have, and I don't think we have a whole heap of blankets. Is borrowing blankets from other people yes or no? Yeah, it's not. It's not. Yeah, of course it is. I don't think it's. I don't think. I mean, this is not based on Wiki how to have a lot of blankets. I mean, it's. Well, it's I just because we're, we're making rules about, you know, who can help and that I sort of thing. I'm just saying. We want to yeah, be clear. I, think, I don't want you to accuse yeah, me right. of cheating. Because you don't. You have an inordinate amount of blankets? No, that's fine. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Um, can you go to step method one, step nine, and tell me if if uh, can we say it's against the rules to ever make that ridiculously creepy looking face in a blanket? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's our new uh, Twitter display oh, pic. Oh I my think. god, look at the one underneath oh, with the god. flashlight. I thought that's what you were talking about. <laughs> no, I was talking about the one above. Oh it. god, both <laughs> these both children awful. are horrifying. I hate them. <laughs> god. Okay. All right. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. All right. I think that, I think that's it. All right. What I was going to say is a, a shout out to the woman who messaged us on Facebook thinking that we were actually WikiHow and no. um, asked us how to pass a kidney stone. Um, <laughs> I We're not this affiliated with WikiHow in any way or shape. Mm-hmm. Or form. Well, we really should be. Well, I I don't know. Maybe I think we we shit talk these articles too much to to be able to obtain yeah. a proper uh, sponsorship of any kind. But yeah, she thought we were WikiHow, and so what else could I do but Google the WikiHow Director. article for uh, for re- passing a kidney stone and just um, sending it to her? And she was like, "Thank yeah. you." That was um, it. Yeah. That's amazing. I mean, I guess, like, even if we had been WikiHow, surely it would have been quicker for her to just Google it. <laughs> Actually, yeah, you're right. Yeah. I don't know why she <laughs> came she to doing? us. What is she doing? I mean, How I guess- How to pass a kidney stone. I can wait. <laughs> yeah. Or, like, I mean, I, it's not something that's happening, like, straight away. I guess it is something that takes time, but I, I think she still probably should have just Googled it. I think you're right. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> anyway, um, and also, I don't know what's going on, but um, I've had a lot of people like messaging me suggestions for WikiHouse for you to do, but they pretty much just involve humiliating you. So I don't know what I mean, people like think I want to do to myself. you, but uh, well, like I've already cried on the show. Well, like uh, someone sent me one the other day saying uh, how to attach stockings to a garter belt. And I don't know, like, is the implication that I'm going to make you wear a garter belt or Casey would wear a garter belt or... I think that's the implication is that I would wear a garter belt. Yeah, why would I want to do that to you? We're, we are I still friends. fucking great in a garter belt. I do? Yeah. Have you seen these legs? I have not seen those legs, I must say. That's, <laughs> that's true. Here's the thing, one I got the- one leg that's nice and sleek and sexy, goes for miles, and the other leg is nice and big and fat, and <laughs> I just feel like the big thigh thing. I uh, I did not notice that when you were over here, I must say. <laughs> well, I don't blame you for keeping your eyes on your own man. Thank, thank you. In the I presence of that. another woman. In the presence of a better man. Of another woman. Oh, right, okay. Yeah. Well, you know. But yours is funnier. <laughs> Yes, he is. How dare you? <laughs> your woman your woman's not funnier than my woman. I don't have a woman. What do you call that? What do you call that thing with the beard? 
is my husband. He's a man. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> He's a hundred percent man. Yeah. He doesn't cry when he talks about how much he loves me. That's for damn sure. <laughs> nah, he does. You, anyway, yeah, he does. Anyway, Are you, okay. I think. Anyway, we should probably wrap I'm things go up. Now. Yeah, I'm gonna go See now. See you later. See you later, and uh, audience. And audience. We're gonna, we're gonna, go, gonna now. go now. See you later. See you later. Are you wearing a Power Rangers shirt? Yeah, I am. Let me see it. It looks awesome. That looks awesome. I like it. That's super cool. It's yeah. really comfortable, too. I dig it. All right, I'm stopping recording now. Me, too. No, Michael, shut up. <laughs>